Is it hard to get into college frat parties? What's the worst thing you've ever done? Intoxicated. Are guys in college douchebags? Are TAs and RAs really strict? For today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me because I'm gonna go out tonight. I'm going out to a frat party and my roommate's coming along with me. She's in every single video, so I don't think it's much of a surprise. Ew, wait, my face is so oily. I need like a grease wipe. Okay, well, first step, I'm using an oil sheet because I'm greasy. I'm not a very experienced um, makeup person, so don't judge me. I didn't even realize you were supposed to get a beauty blender wet before. <laughs> I literally never wear makeup, so this is gonna be weird. Same. My face is always really red. Well, my face is always really pimple and busted, so. This is why I never wear makeup, you guys, because I get acne. So I don't wanna wear makeup because I always feel like it's gonna make it worse. Okay, so like I said, we are going out tonight to a frat party and we don't go out all the time, but my friends, they live in apartments. They asked me to go with them because they know a few of the guys in the frat so we could get in. Ew, oh, I have so much agony. So I put on my Instagram story a little thing of us that made no sense. <laughs> I put on my Instagram story a little picture of me and Kennedy telling you guys to ask me questions. This is what it looks like. Well, let's see if anyone asks me questions and we'll just go through them. Oh my God, wait, no, there's more. <laughs> yeah. When I first looked at it, there was like none and I was like, oh my God, we're gonna have nothing to answer. Uh. Ew. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, how did you make so many friends in college? <laughs> what friends? I don't, I don't have any friends. Uh, this is my only friend. Her name's Kennedy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I feel like the biggest way, if you're not in sports or like a sorority, is literally just class. Like going to class, sitting down, like finding someone who you could see being friends with and like asking to sit by them. When I came to college, I was in swimming. I originally did swimming for like, there was a couple reasons, but one of them was like literally to make friends because I was so nervous about making friends in college. I definitely feel like you don't need a sport to make friends, but like it is an easier way if you do feel like you're more introverted. I definitely made friends without swimming and I don't think that you need to be in a sport to make friends, but I do know, I think a lot of people because of swimming and I did meet some really good friends in swimming, but you don't need that. And like Kennedy said, I think class is the easiest way to make friends. And then once you have like those base friends like like your friends will introduce you to other friends putting yourself out there like one of my closest friends Kayla I literally went up to her on the first day of classes randomly came up and talked to her just like put yourself out there because you never know what's gonna happen you could meet one of your best friends which happened to me <laughs> so cute and then also obviously through roommates you can make friends like one of my closest friends is Sydney and we were literally best friends and we're also rooming together next year and we just became such close friends from being roommates some people don't have a good experience with their first roommate but <laughs> Kennedy <laughs> okay next question will you ever film a video without Kennedy <laughs> Clearly not. Sorry to so, everyone. How often do you go out in college? I don't know. I feel like that's hard to say. I don't go out that much. Other people go out a lot more than us. Yeah. In the beginning of the year, I went out a lot. We're definitely not those kind of people that like go out every weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, definitely not. I feel like in the beginning of the year, I for sure went out every single Saturday night. But yeah, I'd say every other weekend now. I love acne. Zip twins. Hey guys, we're the Zip twins. Boo hoo, there's wildlife dying in Australia and you're defending the Zit twins. What is the best part of college? I was gonna say always having something to do, but half the time we're sitting here, you're always surrounded by friends because yeah. you literally live with them. Is it hard to get into college frat parties? Um, It's harder for boys. Oh yeah, one. for sure if you're a guy, which literally I think I have one guy watching this video and that's it. So <laughs> yeah, if you're a guy, it's definitely a lot harder to get in because obviously frats are males. Mm -hmm. So they already have all the frat guys living there. So they want girls to be there. If you're a Girl, you can get in a lot easier. Not all the time. Like, I feel like here you still have to be on the list. Because every time I yeah. go into a frat party, like, I have to get myself on the list. I guess I've always just made sure I've been on the list because Definitely, I've been scared not to get in. If you know someone, you'll get in. Even if you're a girl in general, a lot of times will let you in. The house I used to always go to, we can't really go there anymore because it got busted by the cops. And everyone <laughs> that lived there got $2,000 tickets, so... That's great. So, the second house I always used to go to was a frat and they got kicked off campus recently. So I can't go there anymore. Can I even say that? Is that illegal to like say that they got maybe, kicked off campus? Maybe like... Should I read another question? I don't even know what you could answer. <laughs> Some of them are a little... Great <laughs> star. <laughs> Bars or parties? <laughs> okay, well... Do you not want to talk about this? <laughs> you have to be 21 to go to the bars. But a lot of people aren't 21 and they still get into the bars. You can always get a fake ID 
and go to the bar. I am not encouraging you to get a fake ID, but I do know a lot of for fake ID. <laughs> but I do know a lot of people that have a fake ID. All right. There's another question on here. It says fake ID question mark. Like I said, I'm not telling you what to do. I mean, like, obviously people know about it. Like, there's literally a website called ID God. Okay, so this video is sponsored by ID God. <laughs> Is that like bad? Like anything I said? I don't know. Someone asked, what's the worst thing you've ever done? Intoxicated. Is that like bad? Like anything I said? I don't know. Okay, so funny story. The ambulance. <laughs> I'm not saying mine. I don't know if this is the worst thing you've ever done. I just think it's funny. One time I was at a house party and this guy, he was, you know, flirting, flirting with me. I could tell he was kind of interested in me. And when he was flirting with me, he was hitting a jewel. I'm not really into jeweling. I've never done it. I don't really like it. You can do what you want, but I just don't think it's attractive. So me being the person Gemini. I am, <laughs> Gemini I am, I took his jewel out of his hand and I ran over to a cornfield <laughs> over by the house and I chucked his jewel <laughs> in the field, never to be found again. And he did not follow me, so I don't think he knew where his jewel went. And the next day, he DM'd me and <laughs> said, where's my jewel? <laughs> and I was like, Okay, man. I hope you found your jewel. I hope everything's going good for you. Rip jewel. <laughs> RIP to his jewel. I guarantee you he bought another one too. Like yeah. he definitely oh, bought another sure. one. I tried to help you, man, but if you bought another one, that's all I can do for you. Like this. <laughs> you're a clown. <laughs> Same. Someone said, are frats scary? All these questions are about like college, mainly picking the ones about college because I feel like that like kind of applies to this video, so sorry. I don't think they're scary. They might be intimidating. Like, they, I feel especially like, like the first couple times you go. Yeah, you might get intimidated, but like honestly, first of all, 99% of the people there are intoxicated, so they're not gonna remember what you do. Like say you do something stupid, say you fall down the staircase. <laughs> I may or may not have fallen down the staircase before and bruised my entire arm. No one's gonna remember, okay? So it literally doesn't matter. So Someone said, why am I single? Who cares? Being single is fun. You have endless opportunities. So I think that you should stop complaining about being single because if you're looking for someone, you're not gonna find anyone. Do you two ever not get along? Most of the time we get along. We don't really have anything to fight about. I feel like yeah, we never, we're like, super disagree. similar. So. And if we like do disagree or anything, like we're literally just like, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do eyeshadow. I know, I literally just rubbed it all over my- I don't do makeup. Ew, I just ruined my whole makeup so I don't know how to do that. How do you stay so fit? I don't. <laughs> Laura goes to the gym probably every day. Never I feel day. like it just gives me something to do. Like I like being in a routine. I like going to class and going to the gym. And I feel like if I sleep until 12, like some people do, mm -hmm. then I feel unaccomplished for the day. I try to go every single day during the week, but it doesn't always happen obviously. And then usually Saturday, Sunday, I don't go because those are like my days off. You don't have to go every day. Like going three days a week is super good. My back's breaking. My legs hurt so bad. Okay, I'm almost done with my makeup routine, so we're only gonna answer a few more questions. I know everyone's so disappointed. Are guys in college douchebags? Um, yes. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, some people are. Anywhere you go, though. Like, not just in college, but obviously it's just easier. If you go to a frat, you're gonna meet a couple douchebags because that's just how people are. Well, I've never been single in college. I've always had the same boyfriend, and then Cora's only been single for, like, a really short period of time, so neither of us really have much, like, experience. experience. But, I mean, like, from friends, hearing from friends, yeah. obviously I know the tea. A lot of guys aren't looking for a relationship. That's just, yeah. like, I feel like that's so cliche, but, like, honestly, they're not. They're not looking for a relationship. They're looking for something else. But a tip I have, if you are a girl, never come to a party alone. Never walk home from a party alone. It does not matter. Like, you can think that you're gonna be safe, but, like, always make sure you have a buddy. I have walked home from a few parties alone, and I would not recommend it. It's scary. <laughs> This lip gloss smells so good. Smell this. Oh, for free. Yeah, it does smell good. Can't wait to kiss so many boys tonight with this lip gloss on. Hey, hey, no one. Are TAs and RAs really strict? I don't know. I think it definitely depends. You get lucky or you don't. Me and my roommate last year were literally best friends with our RA. And this year, honestly, I love our RAs. She actually watched my videos. Oh my God, comment down below if you're watching. <laughs> They're super cool, but like they obviously follow the rules really well. And if you were to do something wrong, 
like they would write you up. So yeah. I think just like don't, don't be stupid. stupid. This is the last thing I have to do. Are you almost done? I've been doing your eyelashes for 20 minutes. I've had all my makeup for literally like four years and I think it's disintegrating and I think I'm getting an infection from it on my face. Okay, are you done with your makeup? Does it look done? I hate you. I love the Jeffree Star. Cora and my other roommates got me this for my birthday. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> our makeup is Jeffree Star approved. Our makeup's definitely not Jeffree Star approved. Yeah. Okay, our makeup is all done. Now we're gonna go pick out outfits to wear to the party tonight. Hello and welcome to my closet. Okay, that is the most ratchet thing I've ever done. Okay, now it is time to pick out our outfits for the parties and I guarantee you Kennedy's gonna wear my clothes because she never wears her own clothes. Would this black thing look good with jeans? I'm literally wearing the same thing, I hate you. Okay, I think I might wear this and Kennedy hates the color, so <laughs> it's just like a wrap shirt. I was literally planning to wear this today and then no, she goes- No, I picked this out first. No, I literally told you I want to wear this though. I could wear this. Not that. Not this? No. Okay, I'm either gonna wear this long sleeve or this. I've never worn this. Jean jacket would be really cute with that blue. I won't wear a jacket then because we're getting a ride at the party. I can wear this top with this black jean jacket or I'll wear this with this. I'll try them both. We both picked out two options. So I might wear to the party tonight. So we're gonna do a TikTok transition because Kennedy's a famous TikToker. Option number one. Okay, this is option <laughs> one. Well, I didn't put the jean jacket on. So it's just like the blue top that I showed you guys. And then the Levi's jeans with a black belt. Let me try the jean jacket on because this is what I would actually wear. It might just be kind of uncomfy. I'm biker gang. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this whole situation. I like that. We're gonna try out our second option and show you guys. These are our second outfit options. I'm definitely gonna go with this one. I like it so much better than the other one. This is from Zaffle. I literally did like a try on haul, collaborated with them. And I think this is so cute. It has like the little tie like Kennedy's did on the side. They're from American Eagle. And then I'm just wearing this chain belt. I used to have the chain belt from Randy Melville. And then it broke and my friend's mom like just had this laying around. It's like the same thing. So I don't know where it's from. It's my friend's mom. She gave it to me. I think I should go with this one. I feel like you should go with the other one. But ew. We'll be back with the final outfits. And then we're gonna move on to jewelry. Oh my god, we're wearing the same thing. I hate this. Whatever. These are our final outfits, and now we're gonna pick out some jewelry to go with it. I don't usually wear a lot of jewelry, but sometimes for parties I like to do like cool earrings and stuff. I really only have two other silver necklaces that I could layer with this. I have like a lock, and I also have like a lock. <laughs> like, a, oh, a, a key, key and a lock. lock. I'm stupid. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Like that's way too much, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's cute. I like that one. Or this. I think I like that one actually the best. This is from Brandy and this is from Adidas Jewels. Okay, wait, I need to do earrings. Are you gonna do earrings? Yeah. I like your hair like that. Okay, this is our jewelry. Okay, now that we have our jewelry on, we're gonna go pick out shoes and then we're gonna be all done. Okay, now it's time to pick out some shoes. So we're gonna go over to my closet. Kennedy's probably gonna borrow my docs because she doesn't really have that many options for shoes. So I think she's gonna wear these because that would look yeah, cute with, with your outfit. Black. And then I think I'm just gonna go with these because usually I feel like I'd wear my docs, but I'm wearing a brown shirt, so that doesn't really go. So that's what we're doing for shoes. I need to text Sydney and ask her what time we should come over. Okay, and that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for getting ready with us. Thank you guys so much for asking us questions. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you want more college videos. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Bye.